No, no, no. Nick, how about you? No, I don't have it. All right. Well, that's... no, I don't have it. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. So here we're going to do what's called uh, descriptive geometry with lines and points. And um, this stuff is not too awful hard. And what I should start with is, um, boom, where is it? Not that, but probably this page right here. So one of the things we're going to do is, is we're going to take a look at uh, three different conditions for lines on drawings. They have uh, the normal condition, you have inclined lines, and then you have oblique lines. And um, you're going to be responsible for labeling the uh, types of lines that are uh, being drawn by you uh, when we do the, the notes page that I just, I just showed you. So here's uh, what they are. A line that is normal appears as a point, and this is a this is a big clue to what kind of a line you are going to be uh, labeling, uh, because it has a point in it, and this is the only line type these normal lines that has a point in it. So it has a point in one of the principal viewing planes, and its true length in the other viewing planes. So true length. True length is this line from A to B is exactly that long. And from A to B down here, it is also that long. So it is true length in both of these views. The line is parallel to two viewing planes and perpendicular to two. So these are the viewing planes, this H and F and in about five minutes, I'm going to remember what H and F stands for. Uh, I think F is frontal and H horizontal is the other one. Um, so these are the viewing planes are these, this cross right here. Okay, those are the viewing planes. So it says the line is parallel to two viewing planes. So this line is parallel to this line. And this guy over here is parallel to this horizontal uh, line, all right? And it is perpendicular to two planes. So in this instance, this AB line right here is perpendicular to uh, the uh, HF viewing plane line. And uh, here we are uh, perpendicular to this uh, FP line. So those two things are those preponderance of things tell us that this drawing is, or that this set of lines is a normal set of lines. Incline lines appear as incline true length lines. Oh, you guys can't see this, can you? Or have I got you on? I don't, I'm not sharing this with you, am I? Uh, no. Why didn't you stop me? I didn't know if like it was recording it through the like thing. <laughs> it is, it should be. Let's see, share my screen, okay. All right, now are you seeing this? Yeah, you must be, right? So here's the, here's the notes. This is one of the uh, pages in your, uh, in your uh, notes for the class today, all right? So here's the, Here's the normal line. Here's the two lines that you're given. You're given this line and this line here and you develop this point over here. So those are normal lines. And uh, this is the description that I was just reading through and, and talking about. The next one is incline lines and they appear as an inclined true length line in one of the principal viewing planes. So that's what this line is right here. It's an inclined line. And uh, it appears as a line in the other viewing plane. So it's a line here and it's a line here, but it's an incline here. 
the line is parallel to two viewing planes and perpendicular in none. So it is this in the upper left corner here. This is parallel to HF. And uh, down in the lower right, this is or parallel with FP. So that means that this line is inclined. Another big clue here, right? Inclined, inclined. So it's easy to pick that one off. Now this guy down here, this one is also got inclined lines in it. Um, but the inclined line is in all of the principal viewing planes. And the true length of the lines, none of these lines show what's called the true length of the line, okay? In any of the viewing planes. Lines not parallel to any viewing planes and it's not perpendicular to any of the planes. So when you find one of these, this is going to be an oblique line. All right, so let's go back to this guy right here. Whoops. All right, and I'm going to enlarge this. So here's the thing. We are going to take a look at how to add basically the third view of a line by developing it using orthographic techniques from the given information. So in this example, we have a point and we have a vertical line, which also happens to be parallel and perpendicular here. So let's, uh, let's do this guy. And he, I'm going, you can take these down to a drawing board or whatever you want. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just uh, do these things. I call them kind of, uh, I think of them as uh, neat, um, is neat, uh, what's the best word for me here? Um, I think of them as neat sketches, okay? So I'm going to, I'm just going to take my my straight edge here and I'm going to put it on this horizontal line and because these are orthographic projections all ortho, ortho, orthographic projections have a angled line on them and that is a 45 degree angle you can see I'm using my 45 degree triangle so Nick you want to tell me did you guys uh you guys have orthographic triangles uh I do yes okay did they come in that kit that you bought for 50 or whatever bucks at the uh, college bookstore? Uh, yeah, that's where I got mine. But okay. I bought mine a while ago, so I'm not quite sure if the new ones have it. Okay. So uh, what I'm doing right now is, is I just moved my straight edge down. And the reason I did that is I want to get my point coming from this intersection right down here for my 45 degree line. Okay, so that's that's a, uh, an important component of this. Now, I'm going to uh, project my lines over because this new line is going to be created in this view over here. This would typically be called our front, our top, and our right-hand side views. And that's uh, essentially the planes that we're always going to be working in are going to be in these three. So. Uh, one of the things that I look for for the grading is to make sure that you have done the uh, 45 degree miter line. It's called a miter line, okay? So right now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to project my lines over from the endpoints of these things. So I'm going to come from here and from the endpoint up here. And now I want to just extend them over to the uh, 45 degree line. You can tape these down to a board if you want and uh, just use, you know, uh, the drawing board with a square. Uh, as a matter of fact, that was exactly how I did it um, when I was working on this, these things at home. So I'm going to uh, bring these over, just like you see right here, to my miter line. Now, from the miter lines, 
at these intersections right here and here, I'm going to bring down lines like this straight down. Now these lines, by the way, they should be, let's see if this is gonna work. Yeah, it's going to. These lines should be construction lines. I'm drawing them a little heavier here because I want you to be able to see them. And here's how I judge construction lines. And I'll be critical of this too. So you know, is if I was standing up, looking down at your piece of paper, and I could maybe just barely see it, it's a construction line, okay? If it's dark like this, that's not a construction line. That's an object line, okay? So construction lines are gonna be more like this. They're very light. Now, you should use, what did you get for pencil leads in um, the, the kit? Did you get like a two, two or four or what were the leads? Do you know? Uh, no, I'm not sure. No, you're not sure? Okay. All right. Well, anyways. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to just do this by eye. I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to take a construction line from this point, and I'm just looking at my, my ruler here to see if it's parallel, and I'm going to draw a construction line across there, and where these miter lines, the lines that come off of the top view, meet right here, I'm going to put an object line. And then I'm going to label this. And that's another thing I'll be looking for is I'll be looking for labels on your lines. So this is going to be point A. And the reason it's going to be point A is it comes from A up here. It goes across and it comes down. So that makes this point A here. All right. And then uh, this is also going to be, and you put a dot on the end of this, by the way, this is going to be point B. So this follows over and down. So that makes this point B. All right. Now, in this type of view, and based on uh, the types of lines we saw earlier, we had normals, we had inclined, and we had obliques. Uh, does anyone want to take a shot at what kind of a line we have here? Which of those three is it? You got a 33% chance. How about you, Michelle? You want to chime in? What kind of line do you think that is? It's Melissa, but oh, um, Melissa, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Everybody, for some reason, it's always it's always Michelle or something. Um, a straight line. Well, it is a straight line. Is it a normal line? It has. Normal? Remember the descriptions. Normal lines had uh, straight lines in them and points. So normal. The other one was incline lines that always has a line that's at a slant. And then the other one is obliques. Those are all slanted and nothing's true length. So just a normal line? It's a normal line. So on here, you would write normal. Okay. So that would be what you would do there. And uh, you have one more thing that you have to label is that this line is TL which stands for true length, all right? Let's do one of the uh, inclined lines. So um, we're gonna take and, and give this one a shot right here. I don't wanna cover all nine of these, yeah, tonight. That would, you guys are already dying, probably with boredom. It's 515. So I'm going to do the 45 degree miter line. And remember, I'm looking for that on all of your drawings. That's an important thing. And then I'm going to extend from my top view over to my miter line. Okay. And, and notice something. When I do these, I always start with a little bit of a gap between the end of the, the line that's on the paper in the line that I'm creating. And that just makes it easier for a person who's viewing it 
to know that the this is the end of the line right here. Okay. The next thing is I need to also extend from my front view over into the right hand side the uh, ends of these this line right here. So I'm just kind of getting it close. And that's a construction line. And I'll do the same with this one. And hopefully most of these are coming out pretty, pretty parallel. And then from the 45 degree miter line, I'm going to come down with a construction line. And where this line crosses these two that come over from the front view, I'm going to draw a line oops, straight down. And I already see got too sloppy with my object line. OK. So I have to label the points on the end of this line and the end of this line. Now, I talked a little bit on this first one about how I traced from A over to here and then down. So that made this point A. So uh, Matt, can you please tell me what am I going to label the end of this line right here at the top? <clears throat> That's going to be A. That's going to be A. And why is that, Matt? Because that's the point that was moved over with the uh, construction line. Yep. So that's point A. And uh, let's see. I haven't picked on Brandon yet. Brandon, what's the other one going to be? This is a hard one for you. It's going to be B. That's correct. <laughs> All right, Nick, I didn't forget about you. So of our three types, normal, inclined, and oblique, what kind of a line is this? Uh, let's see. I believe that would be it's, uh, inclined, correct? Yep, that's inclined because it's at an angle. So I write inclined. You're going to notice something else about me and every engineer you meet going forwards in your life. They always write in capital letters, always. Okay, I don't write lowercase ever. As a matter of fact, I've almost forgotten how to write some lowercase letters. Um, all right, so that is correct. That's an inclined line. Now, the next question in this is the true length. I'm not sure how well I've described this yet, but the true length for an inclined line is always going to be the angled line, the angled one. So that in this case is this right here. So I labeled that with true length. So in inclined, you always have the true length as the horizontal line, okay? Or as the angle line, I apologize. Now, the next one is down here, and this is a little bit more, um, a little more involved, right? Probably because what do we got here? We've got two angled lines. So this is going to be a bit more uh, construction wise. So I start with my 45 degree miter line, right? And I drew that one nice and light. Maybe you can see that one. But uh, so that's more what I'm expecting from you guys, right? Now I'm going to project over from the endpoints of the top view. And you can do this in any real order you want. It doesn't make any real serious difference. Um, you can project from the front view if you prefer over or this way. Okay. And then in this instance, we're looking to solve the line in this uh, front view here. So I just uh, didn't really need to do those lines right there. Is all I, I didn't really need this miter line on here, but uh, we just did it anyways. This, this by the way, should line up uh, with this point down here and this one here. So those would line up. 
because I'm constructing in here, I just need uh, lines coming from here and here and over from here and here. So let's do that. I'm going to bring my project my line over. Okay, and I'm going to do that same thing with this one. And then I'm going to come down from B here. And from A here. Okay, so what we need to do here is decide where uh, this is going to come from up here. I goofed. There we go. So now we need to decide what the points are. And they're going to be right here and right here on this one. There's going to be a straight line going through those two points. And now we got to decide what is our A and our B points, all right? So uh, let's see. Uh, Nick, I'll let you pick the A point out on this one, which is the... Uh, okay. The A point would be the top point or the highest point. Yep. That's A. And uh, Brandon, what's B going to be? It's going to be the one on the right. Yep. That one. And um, let's see, uh, Matt. What kind of a what kind of a drawing is this? Is this normal, inclined, or oblique, and why? Oblique. Okay, it's oblique. You're right. Why is it oblique? Because there's no um, straight lines. I guess uh, they're all angled. They're all angled. Yeah, that's one of the big clues on obliques. Um, let's see, uh, Melissa, is this, which one of these needs to, or any of them, do they need to be labeled as true length? I don't know, I was dreading you picking me for that. Um, are any of them, are any of them true length? No, they're not. Okay, I didn't think so. Obliques, obliques do not have true lengths in any of them, okay? okay. So only normals and inclined have uh, any kind of uh, uh, projection or any kind of a true length, okay? All right, so I don't want to cover all of these with you. Um, I hope it's unnecessary. Now, you do need of, what do you guys think? I'm sorry, maybe I should ask that question before I just jump off the boat here. Are you completely 100% confused? I felt like I was shaking my head. No. No. All right. Well, let's let's stop sharing here for a minute. So, um, you, you're thinking you're okay right now with these things? Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Right. Um, let's let's stop for tonight. Right. And we got 20 minutes left in class, but I don't have to go all night long. Uh, doing these things. So what I want you to do is, is I want you to start doing the inclined lines for uh, the assignment. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, if we don't get to section views on Thursday night, not a problem. Okay. So if you've got a problem, don't stop and don't do more. Don't do anything else. Do what I call parallel thinking. You get stuck on something jump to another one and then maybe you'll figure it out and then you come back. Or maybe you just wait until uh, Thursday night and you have a question about how to do it, okay? Does everybody understand how to uh, know what the assignment is? Uh, do you have any questions about that before I, I kick you loose? All right, how many of you are taking 119 with me? I'm no. taking 119. Nick is? What about you, Brandon? Yeah. Matt, you take, I know you are. Yeah. You guys are uh, in for the long haul, right? Because you started, what time did, uh, started at two, right? With David? Okay. All right. 
All right, so uh, I will see you promptly at 6.05. Same bat channel, same bat whatever, all right? And uh, Melissa, if you're not coming back with me, have a good night, all right? No, I took 119 20 years ago in high school and I got an A in it, so I wasn't taking it again. <laughs> <laughs> was 119 back in, when you were in high school? Was it? Yeah, uh, I took it in high school. Yeah, I took advanced uh, college courses when I was in high school and that was one of them. Oh, sweet. Where was that? What high school was Medina. that? Medina. Medina? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who was the teacher out there? Do Hutchins you know you... at that Ooh. time. It was Mr. Hutchins. Okay. All right. I knew the, I actually, my father was a tech teacher. Uh, well, it was called industrial arts in that day, right? Uh, yeah. But anyways, my dad was a tech teacher and um, he, I, and I actually know a lot of these guys, the old, the old guard of teachers, the guys that was there before Mr. Hutchins was, yeah. uh, Frank is a, is a guy's name anyways. Oh yeah. So, um, all right. So I'll see y'all in half an hour, right? Okay. All right. Be done? All right. Bye. See you in a bit.
Interesting. 